Right, well, we mentioned Trevor Gilmeister quite a bit there. Now, Rupert McCall, our resident poet, is here, and uh, Rupert does plenty of stuff. He's, he's written a poem about Gilly leaving the Broncos. It's a sad day, the chopping block blues. So would you please welcome Rupert McCall. You know, fellas, I still can't believe it. The news I heard today. I wish that I could close my eyes and make it go away. I know I must accept it, for I cannot change the facts. But why, for sake of money, do we have to sack the axe? His undivided loyalty could never be disputed. How it hurts my humble heart to see him getting booted. I'll miss the stern resilience that marked his every game. I won't forget the hardness that accompanied his name. His squinting eyes were lethal. A stare could not be colder. A stare that would be followed by a body stinging shoulder. And then you'd hear a crack, like a walnut being split. You knew the player on the deck would sure as still hell stay hit. But now the roles have been reversed and Gilly is the victim. The game is now business and it's well and truly kicked him. And it kicks me in the guts to see him treated in this way. I think I speak for many folk, so let me have my say. Keep your chin up, Gilly. We're right behind you, mate. You've served this club with courage. You do not deserve this fate. But still you must continue. You must finish what you start. You must overcome this setback with your honest, toiling heart. Soldier forward, Gilly. Put your anger on the shelf. Do it for your team, mate, son. Do it for yourself. Actually, Rupert's done a big job. I saw John Sattler crying in the end there. <laughs> Rupert, did you say excellent? Uh, Billy or Gilly? <laughs> <laughs> Very shortly, as a matter of fact.